Since 1975, hundreds of students have come through the halls here at the Churchill Park School, but they've never had a library until now. So I would really love for this to be a place that they feel is uniquely theirs. Which is something Kelly Casso, the school's librarian, says she's been working to build since she started at Churchill Park last fall. It's taken a lot of um, planning and executing things that uh, ideas that we previously hadn't been able to think about. How are we going to service these kids? How can these kids use a library? Churchill Park is a school for students with more severe mental or physical disabilities. The new library is filled with sensory tools, games, and specially adapted books so every student at the school is able to use it. A lot of our kids, they're nonverbal, but they can feel and it gives them the sense of, you know, how a book you know, the pictures of the book where if they cannot see, they can actually feel their way through the book. The more that they can explore through the senses, the more they're going to be able to learn about the material that they're reading. Chrissy Lee, the school's principal, says JCPS helped to fund the library. All 87 students at Churchill Park will visit it as much as possible. They'll be coming in at least once a week um, during either their language arts class, science, social studies, and then our librarian is also creating special lessons that she's going to do once a month with them as well. When students got their first peek at the new space on Thursday, their smiles and laughs were worth a thousand words, <laughs> which is what both Casso and Lee were hoping for. A right? good time. We're going to have a good time. Anytime our kiddos get to get out of the classroom and come into a related arts class and just explore, it's so fun for them. I want them to just feel at home, but I want it to be a magical place for them where they can, you know, experience books in a different way. Addie Miners, WLKY News.